Hi everyone! Welcome to my cello video lessons. These are for adults who are just beginning cello or getting back into it after having taken a break. And um, I hope you find them helpful. Today we're going to learn how to sit with the cello, set it up, and have good posture as we hold it. Uh, before we begin, I just wanted to let you know as an adult who's beginning cello, I think it is totally awesome that you are doing this. Playing cello is very challenging, it's very rewarding, and the journey is going to be very unique to you and who you are. So just remember as you begin, however far you get with playing cello, um, you're doing this for you, and the goal is to get out of it what you gain from it. So uh, let's begin, shall we? The first thing that I want you to do uh, to begin playing cello is to find a chair that's comfortable for you. It's gonna have a flat, seat. It's going to be tall so that your knees are at approximately like a right angle and you're able to sit up nice and tall and relaxed with it. Um, so once you've got your chair, what I want you to do is begin unpacking the cello. If you've got a soft case, then I would recommend the first thing you do is actually take the bow out. It will be in a long slender pocket along the front of the cello case and you're going to put that somewhere safe and out of the way for now and then unpack your cello. When you pack up the cello later, pack the cello itself up first, put the bow in last, okay? So once you've got the cello out, what you're gonna do is pick it up, you're gonna put it across your lap like this. The neck of the cello is to your left and the end of it is to your right. And so you're gonna take this little screw for the end pin and unscrew it and pull the end pin out. Maybe about a foot and a few inches to start this is totally different for everybody depending on their height. A good rule of thumb I say is to do a hang 10 and do approximately one and a half to two of them. I'm about at one and a half. Let's see if that works for me. You're gonna to wanna to adjust this as you sit and get comfortable with the cello so that it sits against you correctly. So with your nice tall posture and your good tall chair, I want you to sit up nice and balanced and straight back up tall. Everything is relaxed and, and, uh, and symmetrical and balanced feeling. And you're gonna hold the cello up straight out in front of you with your arm extended. And then just sort of lean the cello between your knees and back up against you, against your chest, okay? The cello is gonna come at you at about a 45 degree angle. And this peg right here, this lower right peg, is gonna sit right behind your left ear. It's not going to sit up ahead of it, like so that the cello is up vertically like this, and it's not gonna sit down so low that it's almost against your shoulder or is touching your shoulder. So just scooch the cello up until you find that comfortable position, 45 degree angle against your chest, peg behind your left ear, okay? So uh, your knees are also going to be around the cello and will be touching the side of the cello. Now you can't see it at this angle here, but what I don't want is for your needs to be spread apart so that the cello is not being supported by them. You see, if I, if I let my knees widen, the cello will wobble. You also don't want your knees behind the cello. The knees are coming around the cello. So you're gonna get your legs out a little bit wider than maybe most of us are comfortable with sitting naturally, okay? Uh, the, the knees will go kind of roughly around the widest part of the cello. That would be like right around here. But if your knees come up and touch this part too, that's totally natural. What I don't want is for your knees to be in here, okay? If that's, if that's the case, then the, the cello is too low. So you have either have to scooch it up, remember, closer to you this way, or bring the end pin out further, okay. So now you're in a good position to play. You're relaxed, you're balanced, you're comfortable, your feet are flat on the floor, your chair is good, your back is tall, your shoulders, remember to relax them here. We're gonna be doing a lot of tricky techniques with the cello, so coming from a place of relaxation and balance is vital for two reasons. One, the cello gets very, very uncomfortable to play really quickly if we're tense, hunched over, imbalanced, or otherwise. And also, just mentally being physically tensed is going to affect your ability to concentrate uh, in a kind of calm manner and stay focused on the, uh, the rather tricky things that we'll be learning how to do. So anyway, thanks so much again for checking this out. Uh, check out my next video for um, starting to put our hands to the cello and actually playing it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time.